We're back with another Fox News alert. As Israel prepares for a ground assault against Hamas, the anti-Israel sentiment is growing in the Biden administration. Biden's former special envoy to Iran has lost his security clearance and another warning from T Senator Ted Cruz. He is there to do whatever they direct, including making the message from within the federal government that, that, that there's nothing wrong with Iran having a nuclear stockpile. You literally had three Iranian spies working in senior positions directly around the U.S. government. One of them, as far as we know, remains a chief of staff in the Department of Defense to this day with access to classified documents. Then there's the State Department staffer who resigned because of what he called a, quote, policy difference. He posted his resignation online, writing, quote, we cannot be both against occupation and for it. We cannot be both for freedom and against it. And we cannot be for a better world while contributing to one that's materially worse. That same staffer helped clear the way for weapons worth billions to go to Ukraine. He didn't seem to have any qualms about supporting that aid. The post from his LinkedIn says that he was, quote, immensely proud to be part of this team and exhausted, slightly exhausted, but mostly proud. Griff, I want to go to you first. <laughs> so this guy's name, his name is Josh Paul, and there's some reporting on it, and I want to pull this up. This is a uh, New York Times article by Josh Ismay. It says, State Department official resigns over arms transfer to Israel. Here's the quote we have uh, from the article. It says, in an interview, Mr. Paul said that Israel's cutting off of water, food, medical care, and electricity to Gaza, a territory of 2 million people, should prompt protections in a number of longstanding federal laws intended to keep American weapons out of the hands of human rights violators, but those legal guardians are failing. He said, Griff, does he have a point? This, this is unbelievable, and you laid it out perfectly, Joey, because in the same breath, this is the guy, Josh Paul, who was providing aid from our president's direction to the State Department to Ukraine. And now he says he has a moral problem with taking a, quote, side with Israel. And in this very same breath, this guy who said he was there for 11 years, saying that he can't take a side, took a side in Ukraine. But somehow he lacks the moral clarity to understand that we have not seen in any of our lives the level of human depravity that was carried out by Hamas with beheading babies, raping teenagers to the point that their pelvic bones broke, taking Holocaust survivors back hostage and this guy has a moral compromise Julie. with taking a side. I, I, first of all, for anyone to talk about this war and talk about taking sides, whoever takes the side of terrorists is a freaking terrorist themselves. All those people that are protesting here in Brooklyn, pro-Palestinian protests, they are protesting against Jews. That's what they are. It's anti-Semitism at its very worst. It's absolutely disgusting. And they're promoting terrorism. And the fact that it's even allowed, and I understand people have the right to protest and the right to free speech, but when you are promoting terrorism on the ground here in the United States, considering the fact that we just talked about yesterday how all of these potential terrorists are crossing our borders, they could be here in New York City because we're busing them here by the thousands. And what are our politicians doing? Absolutely nothing. And our Democratic po politicians that we've been talking about uh, who are on the Democratic side are it fueling this. They are incensing this. They are driving these animals, these, these they're, they're monsters. I mean, you saw some of the images of these people at these pro-Palestinian protests holding up their cell phones and rejoicing over the pictures of dead women yeah. and children. And this is happening here in New York City. Yeah. Katie, uh, to go back to that Ted Cruz uh, video, we have people in the Biden administration who one, one that still has her security clearance, right. another one, Rob Malley, who has it suspended on suspicion of essentially spying for Iran yeah. on our government. This is a Biden uh, administration problem. He's under investigation by the FBI. The woman who works at the, department, at the Department of Defense, she still has her security clearance, even though there is email traffic with her talking to the IRGC about sensitive information. So that says a lot about their policy towards Iran. But when it comes to the State Department, uh, people should understand that it, it, most of the career officials there who work there are a problem, much like they are at the UN. And they actually make peace more difficult by prolonging wars, by taking the wrong side. In this case, 
complaining or taking the side of the Israelis. This is exactly what's happening when it comes to the demands from these people inside the State Department that more aid be pushed into Gaza. What do I mean by that? The aid is going to Hamas. They say that they're watching it to make sure it doesn't. Hamas controls terrorists, control everything in the Gaza Strip, the hospitals, the food banks. Everything that is there, they control. And th none of these people are holding them accountable or pointing out the facts that the reason why Gaza doesn't have water is because the terrorists have been digging up water pipes for two decades to use them as rocket launchers and to turn them into rockets to use against civilians. They don't have any infrastructure because they used all the concrete that the State Department and the UN have pushed into the Gaza Strip to build tunnels to again attack Israelis. Yeah, but when they, Israel yeah. left in 2005, they left them greenhouses, they left them the beach, they left them everything they needed, and this is what they did. Well, them. that was my point, is that Hamas has controlled it not just as of yesterday or last month, it's for the last 16 years. Right. And on top of that, Israel, by the way, is taking a public position in supporting aid into the southern part of Gaza. The order to get out is the Gaza Valley, that southern line you see drawn about halfway through the map. Go south yeah. if you don't want to be in this conflict. Listen, because we're coming. I think what we what we understand here is the Biden administration does have a problem, an ideological problem, but it's a problem that goes into our universities and into our culture. It's, it is an ideological wormhole in our country that we have to understand that evil is evil and an ally protecting itself is not. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.